Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, so we're in the final of our no onion, no garlic specialty diet soups. Um, and we're on my favorite, broccoli cheddar. So I'm in the, in the green going here. Um, so we're gonna start with some melted butter. And one thing you'll kind of see along the way as we do more videos is I actually really like browned butter. And what that is, is you basically just take the butter and you melt it a little beyond melted. You actually melt it to a little cooked um, and you can see it starting to turn brown. You can't smell it because smell vision isn't a thing yet, but it has a really nice nutty aroma. So I'm gonna cut that there and I'm gonna add in our broccoli. You would normally add in the onion here but since we're not doing onion, I want to cook these vegetables in a little bit. So we have some broccoli and some carrot sticks here. And we're just going to cook those down a little bit, get that flavor into the butter. Do you always have to do brown butter? Not always, but I like it just because I really like the flavor that it gives. What um, flavor is that? One of those that's really hard to describe, honestly. Um, it's just a more developed flavor. It has a little more depth. Um, and you can just kind of, I don't know, you can tell there was a little more love put into it because it does take love to actually cook with brown butter. We love butter. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, you can see the green on the broccoli kind of brightening up. I don't want to soften it too much because this soup is going to soften it quite a bit. But while this sounds weird, I'm going to add some all-purpose flour here. I'm just going to coat that around here generously. What this is going to do is mix with that butter and make what we call a roux. And a roux is equal parts butter and flour by weight. <laughs> that is then a base for sauce. So what's gonna happen, you can see it kind of mixing onto this broccoli mostly here, but what's gonna happen is when I add the liquid in here, it's going to mix with this and it's going to help thicken the soup. Um, so right now all I'm doing is cooking the flour because flour is raw, a lot of people don't realize that, and it does have a very different taste and texture with raw versus cooked. Um, so we're gonna cook the flour out a little bit so that you're not tasting it in the final product. And most of that you can actually tell by the smell um, because you can smell when the flour is cooked. I smell mostly broccoli, it smells delicious. But now what I'm gonna do is add in two cups of half and half I actually got one that was 16 ounces, so it was already a perfect two cups. So I'm just adding that whole thing. Uh, and two cups of our specialty chicken stock that we made. And we're gonna give that a nice mix. And as you can see, this is very thin, very creamy. We're gonna let this cook and reduce a little bit. Um, all we mean when we say reduction or reduce sauce is basically that we're evaporating out some of that water so it condenses down into the flavor and it gives a more pronounced flavor. So we're gonna let that happen and we'll be back soon. All right, so we've let this reduce and thicken up a little bit. Um, you can see it just kind of coats the spatula for a moment before it drains off. And we're gonna add some nutmeg. And then lastly, we're gonna add the cheese. Normally this would just be cheddar, but I'm adding some Gouda just because I really like the smokiness of Gouda. Um, and I think it adds a really nice flavor in there. So we're gonna add a little bit and let it melt in. We don't want it to get grainy by doing this too fast, too hot. And you can already see that's thickening up even more from the cheese. Mm. 
And there we go, we have some broccoli cheddar soup. So at this point, we've taken our stock and we have made chicken noodle soup, uh, chicken, chicken and dumpling soup, uh, butternut squash, and now broccoli cheddar soup. And with all of that, we were left with an extra 32 ounce um, deli cup full of the stock. So what I'm gonna do is give this to that person so that way they can adjust if I added a little more salt than their taste uh, prefers then they can add a little bit of that unsalted stock and kind of mute that out a little bit and add a little bit more to it. Um, so stick with us, we have a lot more coming up, including some baking projects, um, some longer smoke projects, and everything else coming up. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep in, keep in touch with us. We'll see you next time.